this one is problem 1.41 it says the mast ad which is right here is acted by a 1.6 kilo newton force which is here and supported by cable ce and df here we have to figure out the reactions at the ball and socket joint at a and the tension in the cable so what we can do here is we can start drawing the free void diagram of this member ad so since this is a ball and socket joint here so we are expecting all three reaction forces and there is no moment reaction coming here so reaction forces will be rx ry and rz and because of these cables we are going to have this tension so this member here is fce and this one here is f d f there so these are all the forces that we have now to do the force balance and movement balance let's look at the force balance first so the first forces which are the reaction forces here we can directly write rx i cap plus ry j cap plus rz k cap this is the reaction from the ground and then if you look at this 1.6 kN force this is in the y direction so 1.6 j cap then this fce which is right here this is in the opposite x direction because x is pointing this side so this we can write minus f c e i cap now this f d f force we will write this as f d f we will write this as f d f which is the magnitude of the force times f d f unit vector and all of these forces needs to be equals to zero now what is this f d f unit vector this is a vector that is pointing from d to f so i can write down the coordinates of point f minus coordinates of point d so coordinate of point f will be 1 i cap and then minus 2 j cap and that's all for the point f minus point d which is only going upwards so we can write 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is 4 meters k cap so with this i can go back up here and i can substitute this unit vector there so this becomes 1 i cap minus 2 j cap minus 4 k cap now since the length of this vector will be more than 1 so you can convert this to unit vector by doing 1 square plus 2 square plus 4 square there which is square root of 21 equals to 0 so if i check the i component j component and k component of forces here so your i component gives me an equation which is rx and then minus fce plus f d f divided by square root of 21 equals to 0 similarly your j cap this term right here this term right here we can write r y plus 1.6 and this term right here which is minus 2 times f d f divided by square root of 21 equals to 0 similarly your k cap term will give us r z minus 4 f d f divided by square root 21 equals to 0 so we have got three equations here and we have total how many unknowns we can highlight those unknowns rx ry iz three unknowns here and two unknowns sitting here as these forces so for solving five unknowns we need more equations so for that we are going to do the moment balance for here now for moment balance we can do this about this point d right here so that this a uh, complicated vector which is fdf will not contribute any moment and the moment calculation is going to be easy for us so if i start doing a uh, moment balance let's first do it for fce so in this case if i am doing about point d we have to write down dc vector so we are using that r cross f method so r in this case is going to be going downwards by one meter so minus one k cap that is your r and your force here which is fce fce is going to be f c e i cap in the negative direction so that's because of f c e then that 1.6 kN force in this case your r is going to be minus 2 k cap with respect to point d and your force again is pointing in the y direction so 1.6 j cap and the last one which is your point a meaning all the reaction forces there your r in this case is minus 4 k cap and your force in this case is going to be rx i cap plus 
आर वाई जे कैप प्लस आर जेड ए कैप ना फॉर क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वी कैन यूज दिस मेथड वेयर आई क्रॉस जे गिव्स यू के जे क्रॉस के गिव्स यू आई एंड के क्रॉस आई गिव्स यू जे एन इफ यू रिवर्स द ऑर्डर वी हैव एन नेगेटिव साइन सो इन दिस केस वी आर लुकिंग एट के क्रॉस आई सो दिस शुड बी जे कैप माइनस माइनस वी कम्स प्लस सो दिस इज एफ सी ई जे कैप So in the second we have k cross j, so k cross j going in the reverse direction, so we should get minus i cap. So this will be 3.2. There is already a minus sign there, so this becomes 3.2 i cap. Now in the last term here we will have k cross i, which is this. So k cross i will give you j. So minus 4 r x j cap, and k cross j, k cross j is opposite here, so we are going to get 4 times r y. i cap here so now we can collect the terms for i cap j cap from these two so if i look at i cap term so these two are there so 4 times r y plus 3.2 is equals to 0 and similarly from this one minus 4 times r x plus f c e is equals to 0 so now we have total five equations and we can solve for these five unknowns for example this fourth one directly gives you the value of ry which is minus 0.8 kN if you plug back these values in these equations you will get the value of rx which is 0.133 kN and rz which is 1.6 kN and two cable forces which is fce and f d f your f c e is 0.533 kilonewton and f d f is 1.833 kilonewtons